nobody thinks about these things. Like, who's gonna at 21 years old gonna mm-hmm. think about co-signing for his younger brother for a brand new car? Sorry. Being a mom is hard to get into a routine. Like, I, tr- I, tr- I'm not. I try every day, but every day is something new. Yeah, I think people that don't have routines are kind of scared to. They don't want to face reality. They yeah, don't want. Yeah. They don't want to admit this is my life. I have to be up at this time. People still want like this is real shit. Welcome to the Short End of the Stick podcast, the most Yonkers podcast in the world. I'm Fran Jez. Champu. Jenny Bean from the block. Ooh, that's Brian special guest. Brian Smith. Yeah, Brian. my last name is my middle name, but I use it because it's marketing. Woo! Oh. Oh. It is marketing. So the reason talk- we got this guy on is marketing. By the yes, way, this yes, is yes. episode 15, part two. Thank you for watching part one. We love you very much. Brian Smith, let's talk about it. Thank you for having me here. I mean, thank you for the opportunity. It's a pleasure, and man. First time I meet you guys, but yeah, it's love. Yes, it's, yes, it feels yes. like family. We're all Dominican, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, Jack. I guess. We are. But it house. feels like family, you know. I'm, I'm actually yeah. from Nicaragua, actually. Yeah, right, man. <laughs> Nicaragua. I think you look more Dominican <laughs> than me. I feel, I feel you look like my father. No lie. Like if we <laughs> yo, right yo, side, you look like my father. Yo, why, 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 why I gotta be everybody's dad, yo? <laughs> because that's the type of vibe you just give off. Like, yeah, yeah, what man. can you do? I respect, I respect, I respect. Yeah, yeah. You're wearing good. Like all stay. Like somebody <laughs> could go to you. It feels like somebody could go to you and ask for for like uh, advice. Okay. Hey, I thought you were gonna say for money. Really. No, 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 not money. No. I know you're Dominican. You cheat. <laughs> so let's talk about the marketing. What do you do um, for sign and drive New York? So basically, um, what I do is I try to sell without telling you to buy. That's how you do that? Yeah. Marketing. How do you do so that? So basically, I could make you buy this without. How I said, telling you to buy it. Oh, Maybe. just by bragging about it? Like, look how shiny that no, is. No, but like, you know, I was watching uh, like a YouTube show that it was a fake guy telling everybody that he was the richest guy in his city, which he was fake. But that brought people to think that he was really that. Mm, yeah. And that would bring like a lot of people. But actually, at the end of the day, it was fake. But that would bring people. Now, what I mean by that, it's I feel like when you... Talk about something too, too much that stick to somebody's head. And when you are on a need of that, you will think about that person. Meaning, if you talk about sign and drive, sign and drive. If you see sign and drive here, sign and drive here, sign and drive here. When you need a car, you know that they, what they do is sell cars. You're going to be like, oh. Like, oh, com- like commercials, drive. like commercials. You know, like, yeah, type shit. You yeah, know? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Sorry, can I? Cut? No, no, you can cut the one, bro. Go crazy. <laughs> you can, you can, you can. Wow, so, that type of shit. But yeah, yeah that, that shit, you know what I mean? But yeah, yeah. that's basically what I try, what I, what I try to do, your content so, creation. So how, how do you do it? Like, you use social media? So, yeah, social media in specific, uh, yeah. That's what I do. Um, Most likely to say I try to do, like, something creative that people don't feel like they're watching a commercial because I feel like sometimes commercial is more like TV type of... It's like selling. Yeah, it's like... Like advertisement. That's what I try to do. Sell you without selling you, without you feeling like watching a commercial. Yeah, you got to buy this, and this is the great price because I feel like if you have, let's say, all of us, and I'm the client, trying to sell me, you guys are trying to sell me a car, you're telling me, oh, yeah, this is why you got to buy from me you this is why you gotta buy from me this is why okay i feel like i would go with the person how you guys were saying in the episode before the person that made me most like uh that i would trust the most trust trust is trust is a big word as a customer you gotta trust as a customer and i feel like when you on social media instead of you just telling somebody to buy a product from you it's more important for you to educate that person on that product that you're selling because that would make them you know uh, think why they gotta buy from you so basically what you just said is that you make feel people you make people feel comfortable so they feel like they're buying from a family member right yeah it's kind of like a family vibe like you know it's not so much that you guys are buying from a stranger Mm -hmm. but it's like over here you're all family we all family yeah Yeah, yeah, so you come in over here you know i'm gonna treat you right cousin that's 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 basically bro big bro you know it's like i work for also for our construction company so this is what i do for a living okay content creation for sign and drive construction companies uh artists as well um and one of my big let's say um that i'm proud of myself is that one time um that construction company they closed on a deal of a 500,000 deal. 
because of a video. The video was not him talking about the service that he provided. He was just talking about this product and why he likes it. And then the customer said, oh, okay, I've been watching your videos for a year. And I feel- Where were they? On YouTube? I'm, yeah, YouTube, YouTube. And then the customer said, I feel comfortable with you. But mind you, when he called the company, when that the client called the company to get that quote for, it was a roofing quote. When he called the company, somebody else went. So like the boss, the person who does the YouTube, he's not usually the one that goes to the job size and all that. So he has his team, you know? One of the team members, he went to the job site and the client said, oh, no, no, I want him because I feel like I know him. Yeah. You got it? So that's what I'm trying. What that's I, I'm proud of that, that yeah. through the videos, people feel like they know somebody that's, and they feel comfortable. And that's when, you know, they will probably open up to you and be straight honest with you and be like, yo, this is what I need. This is what I, this is what I want. Can you provide me that? And if you could provide that to that person, they will buy it. They will buy it without asking. How did you market yourself to those companies? So I uh, I met uh, a P or sign and drive in this case at a shoe store. I was doing the same thing for a shoe store. He went to like to buy some shoes, and I just was talking about talking about I don't even know what. And then I just told him, yeah, I do content creation. He was like, oh, for real, and then. Uh, uh, we actually need somebody, blah, 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 blah. And that's basically how I did it. With the other company, it was actually on a plane. I'm a, I travel a lot for the same thing. And I have met a few. So, uh, okay, so I don't know if this is something I could say. Of course, say it. Nah, nah, because of you guys. Because of me. <laughs> <laughs> if you, if your guys watching this. It's going to get dark. Um <laughs> I work for like the biggest manufacturer, like roofing manufacturer company in the US, which is, okay. I'm not gonna mention the name, but look it up. <laughs> I will say behind the scenes. <laughs> I have a non-compete, meaning I cannot do videos for none of, nobody besides them. Oh, okay. That's my contract with them. But, um, one time on a trip, I met a guy and his name is Junior. And we were talking about it, and he was based in New Jersey. I was going to Arizona. He was based in New Jersey, and I'm like, oh, my God, blah, blah, I do this, this, and that. He has a roofing company, and I'm like, oh, wow. I want to, you know, I do content creation, whatever. It took him a year for, for him to contact me. But it wasn't about that he didn't, meet, like, he didn't need a video guy. It was more that, you know, sometimes you're not ready for it. Sometimes yeah. you're not thinking about that. So then after that, I met him. We started working, blah, 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 blah. Through him, I met like five other contractors, and then right now I'm uh, uh, like at the point where I want to quit my other job, my yeah. the, that manufacturer that I said. Not because of the money, because thank God I make good money with them. It's more because of the freedom that I have. It's it's not fun when somebody, let's say, if I work for you, when you tell me, yeah, you can't work for none of these guys. Yeah. yeah, like he doesn't want you to grow. Yeah, like you and have the right to grow. I have the right to grow, and I feel like w with what I do, I have it's my own time, and sometimes right. I'm here, but then maybe you could ask him. Tomorrow I'm in LA. Tomorrow I'm in DR in Puerto Rico, whatever, because of that. So creating content for small companies or you know local companies, that I feel like it could. Um, help you more for your own, um, like for your own company, meaning as you personal brand to grow than actually working for somebody. That's that's how I feel. Yeah, 100%. That's, it's, that's like, how it's like it's like being independent or being or like being with a with a label. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. You for know, sure. you know what's amazing about this podcast? Two things that one, uh, we learn a lot of new things every single time because of the people that we bring on this pod. Yes. And another thing is that people get to share like their stories and everything that they've been through and how they came from the bottom and start. And now, you know, they're doing good for themselves. So two things, what do you, what is your best advice? Like for people that are starting from the bottom and want to market their, their product or whatever it is that they're doing. And what av best advice do you give in life overall just how you came about everything? Um, I would say don't stop. That's the first thing. Once you start something and you stop and then you start again and you stop and start again, people's not really going to take you serious. Um, mind you, and I'm, and I'm sorry, 
I came, uh, been in the in the U.S. for four years. Oh, wow. wow! I came from DR four years ago, not knowing English. So that's if you hear an accent, right. which Good I'm you. pretty that's sure. That's what's up. Not knowing English. That's, that's amazing. Incredible. That's amazing. Wow! Four years. Four years. Wow, I learned, and then everything I just said, I've been doing it ever since. So I learned and did it ever since. But I would say that what helped me the most was was to be outgoing and not feeling like like people's gonna judge me. Because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, even with you wanting to, even with you wanting that, people's gonna judge you regardless. Mm-hmm. So I would say just go for it. Don't stop. Keep doing it. And if you're in the content creation um, business, just make sure that. What you do, you do it. Uh, you do it not for the money and more for what you like. Take it as a like. If let's say if you're working for somebody, work because you like it, and take it as, as if you're working for yourself because that's gonna market yourself. So like, if you turn that into money, whatever you do for that person, that's what's gonna bring you money to you know to to growth. Right. That's what that's that's what. I'm Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. It's your name. Yeah. Right. That's right. 100%. That's 100%. This is 100% true. That was a lot of gems he dropped. Yeah. We appreciate it. This episode, we're doing a 10, 10, 10, 10 minutes per three guests. So thank you very much. That's been 10 minutes. A lot of gems. We highly appreciate yes. you. Yes. Yes. Highly thank you appreciate you. So thank you for Highly coming. Step down. And we got our next Watch guest. Come on down. <laughs> Let's go. <clears throat> 10, 10, 10, 10 minutes per guest. First time ever. Let's do it. Yes. Welcome, Introduce welcome, yourself. welcome. <sighs> Name is Jay. My man, welcome, Jay. <laughs> Show that to the sticks. So cool. what you got? Welcome, you got any, any gems you could drop? What, what, what are you about? What, 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 life, life goals? Uh, talk talk about advice. what you do, yeah. First of all, let's talk about what you do for Sign and Drive, and then we take it from there. Well, for Sign and Drive, uh, I pretty much just do like the financing, kind of like... The math. Well, I got, uh, I get a lot of like a lot of leads also. Like, I know a lot okay. of people get leads into the company, make make sure we're making money. Um, but also, yeah, a lot of like financing, um, uh, trying to get the numbers right, um, setting up the sales. And then when it comes to closing, I just give it to the the main guy. AP. He's a good, he's a mastermind at closing. The big boss. Yeah, he's the big boss at that. <laughs> I just set up, basically just set up the sale, get the client ready for everything. Yeah. Uh, schedule deliveries and st- stuff like that, and um, and yeah, it's pretty much that. Uh, I've been in the game for uh, I want to say since 2019. Okay, yeah, a couple months before the pandemic, that's when oh, I got yeah. into the game. Oh, nice. Yeah, so I did insurance before that, and it's pretty funny how I got into a car game. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> talk about story. it. So how did that? Yeah, how, how did that come about? How do you make that transition? So it's pretty much so. I worked for um, an insurance company for mm-hmm. about eight years. I was an office manager. I was in actually en route to becoming an office, uh, actually becoming an agent, meaning having my own office. Mm-hmm. Um, so I used to do deals with this dealership that was in Yonkers too. I'm not gonna say the name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they will send me deals. Every now and then. So basically at uh, the insurance company that I work for at that time, not anymore. They were doing uh, car loans as well. So they had a bank. They were running a bank that would car- do car loans. Um, and they were pretty lenient. So they were pretty much giving loans to everybody. They were just wanted to grow at the time. So this dealership, uh, I mean, they they just they would send me deals. I would get paid for those deals. Obviously, I would get a commission. So they during the month, of, I remember it was December. They sent me a couple of deals, maybe like 10 deals that week. I was making money. I didn't care. I was just boom. So, so what happened was there was this, like, there was this, uh, I want to call it this ring of guys going around, like dealerships in New York, going out, going around with fake information, getting, uh, getting loans. So they would go with like fake IDs, fake social security. That's like around around the time of Puerto Rico hurricane. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So around that time, a lot of people from Puerto Rico got their identity stolen. Oh. Yeah. Wow. So long story short, they would send me all these deals. I would process them. So then uh, state, 
that insurance company found out that it was like <laughs> wow. yeah i'm not gonna say name i don't want to get sued now but um that company found out that it was like fraudulent and then they put me in into investigation i didn't even know i was just like processing the deals i was getting paid i didn't care so <clears throat> so yeah they uh launched the investigation they figured that i had something to do with that that i was involved and then they put me on notice and suspended my license like my, my insurance producer license for two years oh so then the dealership that was sending me these deals was like hey i mean you got fired uh, <laughs> why don't you come work with us right i mean i i still like i guess as a young person in my 20s i'm like ah, oh, why not mm-hmm. like, so i started i started working for them on the low though because i didn't want like other people to find out like hey so whatever then I, that's how i got into the car business like and right that was right before the pandemic which is like yeah it was a really it was really bad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I wasn't making no money. Was my, I yeah. was fresh in the game. I wasn't making a salary yeah, for the yeah. first time. It was just straight commission. So, yeah. It's difficult, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I, you know, like I said earlier in uh, episode 15, part one, um, I also did car sales briefly. And it's not easy, especially starting off. It's really difficult. And, you know, when I did that briefly, did it for a few months, that was probably one of the hardest couple months in my life actually it's not easy you know especially if we got a family you got people to feed you got people that you know rely on you yeah it's not easy man you know so it's not it's you know it's not what it seems sometimes it's not you know but once you get to where you need to be then it's a different story right yeah yeah no it's not because i I took pride in my credit i know we were talking about credit earlier and my credit was like nearly 700. I remember my credit taking a dip into the fives. I had to <clears throat> basically put other bills on hold, mm. like credit cards. I was shuffling. I was like, All right, I'm, this month I'm going to pay my rent. This month, credit card. This month, the car. The only thing I didn't stop paying was my car note. Because I was like, yeah. that looks the worst in here. When you're yeah. trying to get a car or whatever it is, if you get late on your car payments, that's the worst thing. You can let the cards, uh, credit cards, whatever, you could later on like get those off your credit. But a car note, you're late on that. Yeah, that that's <clears throat> yeah. It was it was that was the only thing I didn't stop paying my car note. Yeah. yeah, man. You could I'm telling you, you could be later in those credit cards, or you want a firm payments, PayPal, whatever. Do not miss those either your mortgage or those car notes because that's gonna hurt your credit score like that's, crazy. Yeah, that's major. Yeah, you know, and you know, I, I you know I know people close to me um, that have declared declared bankruptcy due to like unforeseen things like this you know so you know it is interesting yeah keep in mind the bankruptcy yeah that, that stays in your credit for a while mm-hmm. and just so like a little advice for like because i have a lot of uh, customers that come to me and they have like messed up credit you know it happens and they're like oh but i had this account of collections but i'm paying it why is my credit my credit still messed up so it's just a little advice to everybody out there when you have something on collections and stop paying it once it goes to collection stop paying it because even when you get that debt paid off it's still gonna show in your credit for like i think it's like seven years okay. and correct me if i'm wrong but because once there's so what happens is you owe this credit card four thousand dollars you don't pay it it goes into collections that collection companies buys your account for pennies on the dollar so they buy that account for like 50 bucks or 100 bucks your four thousand dollar debt and then you have to pay them that's why when you call them and you were like, I want to settle and I'll pay half. And then all I got is half. I, will you take it? They'll take it because they paid probably fifty, a hundred dollars for your account that you were late on. So if you have an account on collections, don't pay it. Just pay somebody to take that off your credit. It's not worth it. So don't think just because you're paying that account that's on collections, your credit score is going to go back up. That's a, ma- a really important thing. Wow, that's yeah. I didn't I didn't yeah, know that myself. That's, that's a very fact. that's very interesting news. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> we got that's crazy. Back here. I got stuff in collection. That's crazy. No, that's the, you know these these are very important topics that people don't understand or they don't know. So I didn't know that myself. Yeah. You know, so this this is why you know it's the purpose of the pod and the purpose of this episode so people could see you know the behind the scenes things that they might not know. You know, not everybody does their homework, you know? Yeah. yeah. And and same thing when it comes to car buying. Um, another thing, people, we're car brokers. So we don't make a penny unless we sell a car. Same thing with a real estate broker. 
that's why they're there. So they'll do the legwork for you so you don't have to deal with the landlord directly. It's the same concept. So people think, so a lot of people think just because they're dealing with a car broker that they're going to, if they go to the dealership, a franchise dealership, they're going to get a better a better deal, which is could happen, but most of the time it's not, it's, it's, it's not, it's not the right thing because they still got to make their money. Yeah. So what they with car brokers, all we do is just make sure that you don't have to go to the dealership. Everybody knows as you go to the dealership, you sit for countless hours. I've been there mm-hmm. myself before I got I, in the game. Mm-hmm. You you be there for eight, ten hours just sitting there waiting for an answer while they submit your credit to like 15 different banks. So a car broker, all they all they doing is making your life easier. You could be at on vacation, you could be at home taking care of your kids, you could be at work, you could be anywhere where you want while we do the work. And we'll take the car, we deliver it to you, you sign, and that's it. And so that's, that's like really important about signing drop New York. And and basically about any broker like any car that any guy that's a car broker, that's what we do. You don't have to go to the dealership and send and sit at the dealership and waste all that time. Mm-hmm. That's the really important part. Because time is precious. Whatever you do, yeah, you might be saving ten dollars over there. But it's the time that you don't get back that right. you're sitting at the dealership. Time right. is literally the most important thing we have. And speaking of time, that's been the 10 minutes. So, my man, if we can have... <laughs> <laughs> if we can have <laughs> no, <laughs> we, be deep, we be deep into conversation, so... <laughs> that's more good. That's more good. That's more good. good. <laughs> All right, this is the 10, 10, 10 episode. <laughs> Three guests, ten minutes each. This is our third guest. You look familiar. <laughs> <laughs> ah, hello, guys. <laughs> Beautiful, man. Remind everybody from part one. What's your name? AP from San Andreas, New York. Thank you guys oh, for having me. Oh, man, you remember him. I hope yes, you sir. watched part one. Nah, you, you watched part one. You, you watched part one. Yeah, you did. watched part one. <laughs> so AP, let, let's let's full circle. Let's bring it back. Yes, let's sir. bring it. Let's bring it home. Let's close it nice. The last ten minutes. You got some. So, like, if you had to talk to your younger self. Uh-huh. Like like deep. This is real deep stuff. No okay. more joking around. Cause people some people watch this just because I had something to do. I got I got a, I got 30 minutes. Let me just watch what they're doing. They might know him, me or her, or whatever. They might know you, they're watching it. But like if you were to touch your you no if you, I got it. <laughs> if you were to, to hit your, your younger self deep, where it's like, yeah. yo, stop fucking around, take this shit serious. What what would be that that advice you would give yourself? Um, I would say uh don't take no for an answer. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, well, what nose did you get though? Oh, uh, because you're technically your own. Like, I mean, just to be specific, like even like, so I play college sports. I play college baseball. So Ooh. like, uh, so even just in sports, they'll tell you a lot of nose when you get to a certain level, stuff like that. So like, uh, or, or even in just in general, when you're going to a certain level, there's gonna be a lot of nose, a lot of doors closing. So that, don't let anybody tell you no. Uh, even your, your own family members may not believe in what you're doing. Uh, they'll tell you, yo, that's crazy. So yeah, just don't take no as an answer. Cause I, yeah. I, I took no as an answer uh, a lot of a lot of years, and it, and it kind of you know it, it held me back. So friends and family, yeah, yeah, they'll friends. say, ah, oh, don't do that. That's crazy. Ah, no, oh, that's, that's a waste you of know, time. You listen that's to your a inner dream. Voice. You know what's crazy? That literally was one of the questions that that's we were why, supposed that's to why ask. I started jumping yeah. in. So I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that's perfect because yeah. friends and family are the same way. Yeah. Right, they'll, right. They'll, they'll they'll bring you down. They'll shut you down. Nah, that's yep. a crick because they're they're in the fears. They're laying on you. Of course. Like wow, I would never think of doing that. No, don't do that. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, just you gotta just go with what you believe in. Yeah. So you know that's 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 just what I would tell my younger self. People, I, I never had anybody tell me that when I was you know. So yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so. A lot of times, people's own insecurities mm-hmm. um, reflect on what they're saying towards you. Of course, yeah. so of course, it's fear. you're scared of something. Yep, they're gonna tell you the same thing. Of course, they're not gonna yeah. tell you. Oh yeah, go for it. But I'm scared of to course. do it. You know what it is too. Like majority of people, like your family members and stuff, they grew up with you. So like you know, they probably think that the same way you were back in the day. Like you, you're not gonna change. Like nothing's gonna change about uh-huh. you. I know you're not gonna take this serious and blah blah blah. Like they don't be having. It's crazy because you would think that your family members would have 100 percent support and faith in you, but those be the ones that really be like, you're mm-hmm. not gonna, you're not gonna, you you. I know you. Meanwhile, like, you're, you're growing every yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then they're bit, like, oh, my yeah. God. Like, how are you doing it? Like, you mm-hmm. know, I thought you would never change or grow out your shell or blah, 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 you know? Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, they put their fears onto you. Fear yeah. is, is one of the biggest reasons 
that people don't progress in life. Yeah. It holds you back. Of course. The, the idea, oh, but this might happen. Of course. You, 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 it, that's kind of like what depression is too. It's like you're dwelling on the most negative things. You can't progress. That's a wall on your yeah. life. You, you, you build that wall with your thoughts and you can't get past them. Mm -hmm. now, now you set a boundary of, of fear and now you'll never progress because of... And, and it becomes, it comes from your family too. Your family puts this fear in your head. Now you've built an, an even bigger wall of fear. My family told me this. Mm -hmm. now, now I'm in the real world myself and I learned so much more. Now I have even, an even bigger wall. Yeah. And yeah, that sucks. That stops people from growing. No, at the end of the day, time is going to pass. So you might as well just give it a shot. You, know, you might as well just give it a shot. Uh -huh. So yeah, if it doesn't work out, try the next thing. Absolutely. So, yeah. That's well, what, what would be the three things you need to be happy the three things I need to be happy. Uh, for one, my son. Mm. So that's number one. Preach. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, we're all parents here. Yeah, all parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, <laughs> number two. At the table. Uh, number two, my health. Right? Oh, your that's parents. <laughs> so, what was oh, number yeah, two? Yeah. Not my health. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That's important. I that think, should be uh, number one because without yeah. health, you can't take care and of And when I care. say health, that like mental health, physical Hell health, yeah. everything, you know, I think that's, uh, that, that equates to happiness. Mm -hmm. Let, let's stick there for a second. How do you take care of all of your health, physical and mental? Oh. I know you say you're at the gym. I did, that might have been yeah, off camera, yeah. I'm not sure, but yeah, you, do, yeah. you do physically. I mean, physical, definitely gym and trying to eat, and eating the right things. I'm a vegetarian for the past five years or so. So right. that's been pretty cool. Uh, mentally, what, what were the changes you felt? when you change to vegetarian mentally physically um, and everything just like uh needing less sleep and just being on go mode more yeah you more, thought you had more energy for sure all yeah right. for sure more all more right. woke yeah for sure all right so mental health what, uh, what do you do for yourself mental health i mean to be honest i think that's just an everyday battle so no, but what do you do though do you meditate do you do you, do you put your phone down for like at least five minutes like what do you productively what do i do? do i try to stay busy I guess oh, that's, right. that's, that's the good. best thing that's to, to try, try to stay busy, in, you know, in this. Uh, the I don't mind is the playground. Yeah, even though you should face whatever it is that you're feeling. Uh, 100%. So, uh, but I try to stay busy. That's my, my, my defense mechanism. Yeah. You, you know what's another thing that's very important? Love yourself. For sure. Love you yourself. Always put yourself, yourself first. first. Yep. Always. It doesn't matter what anybody yep. thinks. You know why? Because everybody else do what they want for themselves. Of course. Absolutely. Do whatever makes them happy. Yep. So I feel like everybody else, everybody should do the same thing. Like I, it's, it's, it's crazy because people can say love yourself. A lot of people do not understand what that means. Like a lot of people don't understand what that means, and I just it took it took me a while to to really love myself, like and put myself first. It is it is difficult. Like I know that you said that you know the depression is easier said than done. Like a lot of a lot of people, a lot, like it's easier said than done. So you know you 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 got to fight every day and love yourself and just. Yeah, you know, set set, boundary, set boundaries, set yeah. boundaries with people, you know, to put if you have dreams and your goals, you put that first, especially if you have kids, you definitely got to put because if, if you don't do it, then who else is going to do it? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And 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 your kid is a reflection of you. Yeah. So yep. love yourself Plus very you, important you can't pour from an empty cup yes so it's like i learned that the I, hard I, way yeah, i learned that the I hard way too i didn't know what that meant i didn't have to go it's too. true though yeah, yeah. No, no, it's, no, it's, it's, saying, that's, that's true. literally your phrase <laughs> yeah uh, yeah it's funny that he mentioned yeah. that. listen i came i came a long way um i really had to um understand like what it what it meant to put myself first like i'm i'm, I'm i was always giving 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 and nobody's giving anything to me yeah. So it's like, how how can I put all this love and effort, energy into somebody else, and I can't put that into myself? Let me tell you something. Takers are never going to stop taking. They're going to continue taking. They don't have no boundaries. People to don't take change. No, wow. People take advantage. Wow. When you're That's nice, my point. when you're nice, people take advantage of that shit. Absolutely. And they're going to take and take and take and take. Uh, literally, like you're pouring from an empty cup. You're, they're sucking you dry. They're like, you're not progressing in life because you're so focused on this person and what they're doing. And if they're, if they're good, but you need to make sure that you're good because if yeah. you're not good, then how can anybody else? And how can you, how can you take care of anybody else? If you're not good? Absolutely. It's impossible. Like, you know what? Like, I don't think like no. I, a lot of people don't understand that, and I just I want people to watch this and to you know, love yourself. I'm yes. telling you, like just e even if you're in a relationship, even if just always put yourself first. Always, you, you always. always. Gotta, I mean, love is what drives the world. I believe yep, you know, yep. and I think we need more of it. We you absolutely know? Yes, need more. Yes, of it. yes, we because, do. Um, 
That's why they say fit, nice guys finish show, last. I always, what is it? Yeah. That nice, nice guys finish, finish last. Yeah, like nice people finish it's last. Real thing, it's kind of true. It is a real thing. Nice yeah. guys yeah. really do finish <laughs> last. Because people don't cherish that. No. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, but people he, no. people don't. I've been there plenty of times. Listen, yeah, I'm yeah. telling you, like, yeah. I don't have front. Like, I don't. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop saying I don't have friends. <laughs> I just, I just. I just don't if you're not if you're not bringing any type of positivity into my life if you're not in, involved in my son's life if you're not doing like it might sound it might sound like I'm um um it's like if you got to do you got to be doing something for me in order for you to be in my life but it's like I'm I'm protecting my energy though I'm protecting my energy not, not because you you were you were draining me so I'm yeah. not I'm not I'm not going to keep letting yeah. you sucking me dry of, no. of course you know it, it, it got to balance out you know you guys got to pour from each other's cups you know, if I'm constantly pouring into your cup, every relationship has to be reciprocal. Every and, and if yeah, yeah. if I get thirsty, what am I yeah, gonna yeah, do? Yeah. Right. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So it's it has to be both ways. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't always put all your energy onto somebody that's not giving you the same energy back. No. You know, and sometimes you know, um, you do more for others than what they do for you. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like you constantly checking in on them, calling yes. them. You know, I myself, uh, I'm, you know, I'm like that. Mm -hmm. And little by little, as I'm getting older, I'm starting to... Certain yeah. people, you, you realize. Gotta, you I'm gotta, gotta, to, you gotta just single like, them out. Single them yeah. out. Yeah, because, yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. what are you, are you investing in me? Yeah. Like, are you, are you, exactly. are you there for me? Are you supporting yeah, yeah. me? No. Like, I'm over here supporting you. Like, I'm, I'm there mm -hmm. for you. Like, I'm calling you. I'm hitting you up. What, like if you're not doing if you don't, if you don't even think that I'm even worth that then I'm gonna do the same thing to you you're yeah, not absolutely. worth you're not worth my time yeah, and, that, and and that's yeah. just what it is I'm I'm about to turn 31 I don't care about people that are not in my corner or not like I have a child now like I gotta I really gotta grind and 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 I, I sometimes like if I was to tell the younger me something it would be like yo like stop like stop thinking about other people and stop doing for other people and do for yourself because ahora yo estoy atrasa. not saying that I'm like atrasa, but like I wish I could have did more things yeah. and to, to, for to yeah for myself yeah, yeah. because I invested all my time is what really hurts the most really time does. like you can, get, you can get you can get your money <laughs> You can get your money back, but time. That's why time is not money, bro. It's not. Now the funny thing is, it is time up. But I, <laughs> I, I, I did want to get your third. What, what keeps you happy? So it was your son, oh, your yeah. health, and what's the third one? Oh, uh, I mean the third thing is is uh time. I guess, <laughs> yeah, I mean I, I guess just family and friends overall. I mean, <laughs> oh, how about? Money. Let's just right. be yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. just be honest. Yeah. Time, family, friends, but most importantly, time is most valuable. We yeah, took yeah. up a lot of your time. We appreciate you <laughs> taking time out of your, your lives to watch us and listen yes. to our, our our conversations. Thank very, you very much. Very Thank educational. You Thank you very, very, yep. This is the short end of the stick. We appreciate it. The most thank, you thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And this shit, this shit went full circle. So <laughs> before before it ends, just tell them about your Instagram and and like oh, when oh, like yeah yeah. So you guys can find us at Sign and Drive NY, like New York. So Sign and Drive NY, uh, and yeah, like uh, we're a one stop shop, new and used, all makes and models, uh, shop from home. Uh, we deliver directly to your home or your job, wherever it's more comfortable for you. Uh, we ship to a, a few countries, uh, obviously Dominican Republic being one of them. And uh, yeah, I mean, we're, we're ready to rock out and give you guys the best deal possible. And, uh, and, yes. and we, we want you guys to negotiate, be aggressive with us. We, we want to... You know, give us a give them a challenge. Give us give a, them challenge. a challenge. challenge. Yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna make you happy no matter what. So yeah, you gotta yeah, play yeah. hard to get. Okay, that's it. That's it. <laughs> and um. Also, you know, two of us here bought cars from you guys. And yes. Yes. It was yes. a smooth transition. It really was. Yes. I, it know, was. I appreciate that. And it that. got delivered. <laughs> yes. It got, it got delivered. So I wasn't even yes. here. I bought a car for wifey. You know, guy mm -hmm. came through with the I, car. Oh, I wanted to everything. touch on that, actually. I think one of the things was, uh, uh, how do you, do you guys feel like support, uh, do you get support from people you don't know or something like that? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, oh yeah, I, those are your biggest supporters, the yeah, people I, that you don't I know. I want to say that that is not true, because obviously, like you guys just mentioned, uh, I, I know you guys, you for years, you but, for years. But that's not always the case, though. Think about it. But I'm told about you. It's for me. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I just feel like, like I said, I mean, it, it's just, uh, I know you guys for years, and you guys yeah. book cards for me. 
you guys could have went anywhere else. Could have yeah. went to any Honda. Yeah, any yeah, Honda. you're right. So you're right. At the end of the day, you guys know me and you guys know AP from the town. He sells cars. So you guys went to me first. And, mm-hmm. and I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, like, you know, I, I, don't, I don't agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> that's Yonkers that love. Been, yeah, that's yeah. Yonkers love. Yonkers yeah. love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. On but that, that note. So if you're from Yonkers, you're not buying a car from AP. <laughs> that ain't Yonkers we love. Gotta talk that ain't you. Yonkers love. What are you doing, baby? Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> And that's it. Um, This is the end of episode 15, part one and two. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Make sure you tune in. Uh, Subscribe to the channel. Yes, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you guys for having me. Thank you for sponsoring the episode. Um, Till next time, guys. Yes, till next time. Peace.